Hi, I'm Dr. Anton Beffa. I'd like to talk to you about dry eyes. Many patients come in uh, complaining that their vision gets blurry when they read. They'll be reading along and it's clear, but then it blurs up. So frequently they don't understand what's causing this. Usually it's a dry eye problem. Dry eyes are very, very common and uh, some medications make dry eyes worse, um, but we have ways to treat it. And for the first time in many years, we have very good ways to treat dry eyes. So I'm going to explain dry eye to you a little bit and explain our treatments. First of all, there are different parts to the dry eye. Uh, there are different parts to your tears. There's the watery part that everyone's familiar with, but what you don't realize is that there are oils inside the tears. Let me show you on this chart. Right here in the eyelid are oil glands called the meibomian glands. Every time you blink, a little bit of oil is released from here and it spreads across the cornea and protects your eye from uh, evaporation. So this is a component that is frequently low in patients. And there are replacement oils that you can get in a drop, such as Soothe. Besides the water and the oil, there is mucin, the third component. All three of these need to be working together to provide the best quality tear film. The symptoms, again, are blurriness, sometimes with reading or sometimes at the end of the day. Sometimes when you first wake up in the morning, your eyes feel very dry or you have difficulty opening your eyes. So there are ways we can treat this. We can measure how many tears you make in a five minute period by hanging little tiny strips of paper on your eyes and measuring how many tears you produce. We can also put a green dye in your eye and look with the slit lamp here and see how much uh, staining there is of the cornea. We can see the dry spots and we can see whether the oil film looks good. We can push on your eyelids and see those meibomian glands and make sure they're working well and that there's a nice clear fluid. Sometimes we have to treat with antibiotic pills to help make those oil glands work better. The second line of treatment, uh, I'm sorry, the first line of treatment is artificial tears. There are lots of artificial tears on the market. I prefer refresh products and sustain products. Here is sustain and here is Refresh. Refresh makes uh, very light ones called Refresh Plus with no preservatives and then they make th thicker ones called Liquid Gel and the very thickest is the ointment. If you have very dry eyes and wake up with very dry feeling or have trouble opening your eyes in the morning, the ointment, putting the ointment in your eye at nighttime is, the, is a very good way to go. You can buy that over the counter without a prescription. All these are available without a prescription. Another drop I mentioned earlier replaces the, te the oil in your tear film called Soothe. This, this is actually has mineral oil in it. And some people like to alternate. They might take this two or three times a day. And they might take the Refresh products two or three times a day or sustain. If these uh, measures are not working. Hot compresses on the eyelids also can help open those oil glands up. And I'd recommend doing that every day when you take a shower, close your eyes, let the hot water hit your eyelids, or you can take a hot washcloth, hot tap water, and place it up against your lids, and then gently press on your eyelids downward, or on your lower lids upward. Another uh, way we can treat dry eyes is with Restasis. Restasis is a prescription that we have to write for you and you put the drop in twice a day. There's little containers and you open these up and put one in twice a day and it helps your eye actually produce more of its own tears. These other things are kind of a band-aid. They help but they don't solve the basic problem. This helps you produce more of your own tears. Another way you can help produce more of your own tears may sound funny to you. Here I am, an eye doctor, asking you to take fish oil, but I would recommend taking this fish oil and flaxseed oil combined. These are pills that you can buy over the counter without a prescription. A doctor from Harvard Medical School developed this, Dr. Gilbard, and I use it myself. And I also use Restasis myself because I suffer from dry eyes. So I recommend 
you take three of these a day with food and the combination can really help improve your vision. So dry eyes is not just, it can be tiredness, blurriness, and it can also um, reduce your sharpness of your vision. It just makes things uh, harder to see. So uh, do yourself a favor, try these things that I think you'll find you're seeing better. We can help you along the way and um, many of these things